Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming in this new space. As you guys can tell, it is my bedroom, but um, I have a new setup and everything that I will eventually show you guys. Um, but like I told you guys before, I was in the bathroom, um, which was fine, but especially for like my Instagram videos, if you guys follow me on Instagram, it's it's pretty easy to film a quick Instagram video, but when like you're taking your time and trying to explain things and show things on for YouTube, it's just, it's harder and you're in there for a lot longer in like a tiny space. So now I feel like open and better background, not just a door. Um, but I do have to like keep my room nice and tidy for you guys. But, um, yeah, so I, I will show you guys my new setup. Um, shout out to my boyfriend. Um, he got me, um, like a vanity and like a mirror and everything for mother's day so so happy to be in here and be able to talk through a video and not have to do a voiceover even though i feel like i will still continue to do voiceovers every now and then just because i have kids running around i live at my parents house it's a little bit crazy so like there's that background noise and stuff so i might have to do voiceovers um but at least i'm in a new space it's bigger i think it, it's gonna work out a lot better so yeah let's get into today's video so for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my first boxy charm. First things first, I don't like how my box came. Um, I don't know if that's just because like it has to go through so much processes of like getting to me because of like what's been going on with COVID-19 and everything. So I don't know if that's literally why it came like this and it had to go through like sanitation or like, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyways, um, my box came with, um, and I think this is April box. So when I, this is my first Boxy Charm. So when I started Boxy Charm, the April was already sold out. So this is like a mystery April box. So I got this Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. I don't know how to pronounce that name, that brand, but you can see it right there. Um, I will definitely be trying this out. My skin is super sensitive, but a veggie mask. Sounds cool, so I'll have to try that out. Won't won't be for this video though, because I already did all my skincare. I got some cleansing wipes, which hopefully this works for my skin too, because like I said, my skin is just doesn't like a lot of products. So then I got these Luxie, I don't know this name, um, brushes. Um, it comes with a large eye blending, a precision crease, and a foundation brush. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll use this foundation brush much, but I, I mean, I'll use it for the purpose of this video. And then what I was really excited about was this Ofra, Ofra lip gloss because or um, long lasting liquid lipstick um, in the shade Santorini. So this is like really pretty. I'm going to definitely use it for this video because I always do nudes. Um, and then there's this Butter London um, eyeshadow palette. Take off. The, I really, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, it does have all shimmer, four shimmer, and then two are matte. So, I mean, I still think you can get a lot of looks out of it. Like, you can just literally throw brown, this brown in the, um, I'm sorry, this brown in the um, crease. And then just any of these colors will work for, like, your eyelid or whatever. So, I think that's good for today. I'm so excited for my first boxy charm. I actually did some add-ons too, but they haven't arrived yet. So, I'm kind of sorry about that. I'm going to first go in with my Master Prime um, Primer Base Hydrate and Smooth by Maybelline. Um, literally, this is like a brighter dye right here. Like, it just fills in my pores so good. And I have really big pores. So, if I use any other primer that doesn't like fill in my pores and it's just like another, like a different type of primer that does different things, I have to use this with it. So, I will go in with this and then also I'm going to go in with the Milk. Hydro because I tried using this by itself and I realized that my pores just show so much. And I kind of will focus this more on the outer than where my pores are, just because I already put so much on where my pores are. So, yeah, okay. And next, I'm going in with the Born This Way foundation. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite foundations. Um, I just personally don't think it's full coverage. It's like medium coverage. I have two. I have a shade porcelain and light beige. And I'm pretty tan right now, but still kind of going with both. I feel like both are my shades. Just if I want to look tanner, this one. So I kind of mix them or I'll just use one. For today, I'm going to use the light beige. Um, and I'll put this like on the back of my hand. 
like always. And then I am going to use that brush, if I can find it, um, not to blend in, but just to like put it everywhere. And then I will blend in with my favorite Morphe foundation brush, which I'll show you right now. Then I go in with this Morphe brush. They have a new one now. It's, they don't have the Y6 anymore, but I'll just blend that in. And I will be looking a little bit this way just because my mirror's right here, but yeah. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Kylie concealer and then the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And um, this one is a little bit like too dark for me. And then this one's like pink. Um, so I kind of use them both to brighten up a little bit. And I'm kind of running out of this one. Actually, now that I'm tan, I haven't used it since I haven't used this one in so long. So it's actually not too, too dark for me anymore. But I am running out. Now, ever since I did that TikTok thing and I didn't put that thing back, it like drips everywhere. If you watched my trying the viral TikTok hacks, um, yeah, it like spills everywhere and I threw out that thing. So that was my mistake. Probably have seen my face routine so many times, but you guys seen it in a voiceover. So I just thought like I would share. Although I do love editing and doing voiceovers better because it's less time consuming as far as like the editing portion and whatnot. Um, it's really hard to get everything out you wanna say when you're like limited on the, I don't know how to explain it, but if you do voiceovers, you know what I mean. It's just like a lot faster pace and you don't get to say everything you wanna say. Okay, and then I like to set my under eyes really quick while I do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna set my under eye with the e.l.f. contour palette and I'm just gonna use this like yellowy um under eye color i i just really like this one a lot i don't know why i just feel like it mattifies my under eye but doesn't dry it out and like has some color so it like gives my under eye more color i mean coverage um because i'm so like insecure about my under eye and my wrinkles um so yeah i just really like how that covers and then i will go do my eyebrows off camera and i will be right back okay so i just did my eyebrows and like carved them out and everything so i'm gonna actually use one of these and wipe off everything that i have extra on the back of my hand now they've come out with like every like where you have like a little tray and they're like it's like a painter tray like and like you squeeze your stuff in there so i need to get one of those because oh came right off like so quick so these are good and they're like very wet where i know i've tried some uh skincare or wipes or whatever and like they're super dry and like harsh on my skin so i like that so now i'm going to set my face and i'm going to use what do i want to use the cover fx um setting powder Not really gonna touch under my eye just cause I wanna keep that color. And you'll probably see particles flying everywhere. And then whatever like excess is on my face, I will take a bigger brush and just wipe. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bronze up my face and I'm gonna go in with the Milani um, bronzer. This is like a good um, drugstore bronzer. It's not like patchy or anything like that. This is in the shade Suntan. I'm just gonna carve it out really quick with the same translucent powder that I used. I know it probably seems like I'm a little out of breath. It's because after I did my eyebrows and set my face, I ran to the store really quick. So not like me while I'm filming a video, but I had to go, so. Yeah. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with blush. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do blush yet. I'm gonna carve my nose contour. And like I've told you guys, I just use whatever bronzer I'm using, really. Honestly, that's what I do. Um, I don't really have like a favorite. I don't know. I don't like my nose at all. I think it's just big and I don't like it. Um, but I haven't found a technique that like makes it look like so amazing. But I mean, this to me kind of makes it look a little bit smaller. But then sometimes in pictures, like it doesn't. So I'm like, is it making it look bigger or smaller? So I don't know. This is like the part I don't like, like the front of my nose, like right here and like the, like right here. So I don't know. And then I feel like putting bronzer on it is just making it more noticeable. But then I've watched so many freaking videos. That's like, this is what to do. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have suggestions for my big nose. I don't know why I'm just self-conscious about it. No, you want to know the story time? <laughs> because when I was like in sixth grade or something like that i broke up with this guy and it was like a freaking like a three-day boyfriend girlfriend thing and i broke up with him and he commented on my picture on myspace and said i had a big nose and ever since then i've been self-conscious about my nose i know it's terrible like really why did i i never thought anything about my nose until that time anyways that was just like I think it's so stupid, but now I just pay attention to my nose and I don't like it. Like, he's not lying. Like, it is huge. Like, he's not lying about it, but I don't know. Then I'm going back in with this again, and I'm going to use this shade to carve it out. But yeah, that's why I think I have a big nose. I don't know why. Just, like, that was always stuck with me, and that was, like, in, like, sixth grade or, like, seventh grade. I don't know. But that's why I think I have a big nose. Isn't that so mean? Like, he didn't even tell me. Like, he had a comment on my MySpace picture. I would never forget that. I'm so rude. All right. Now I'm going to go in with blush. And I'm going to take this Tarte blush in the shade Exposed. It's really pretty. I smile. Just put it right there. I like this one because it's, like, buildable. I don't like like bam like two circles or anything like that so I like it buildable like I don't want it like there's blushes I know where I dip into it and I know I still have to like wipe off because it will literally just stamp on right there and not that I don't love it I just I have to be very careful with this one it's like I can keep going in and build it up anyways so then after blush is that enough blush? Yeah, I might go in again with more because, again, once everything's on my face, it's going to disappear a little bit. Okay, now I'm finally going to go in with this, which, oh, which is the Butter butter Eyeshadow Palette by London, I guess. And it's Natural, oh, the Natural Goddess Palette. I don't know what this is supposed to be called. Is it supposed to be Butter? Or right here it says Natural Goddess. So, I have no idea. Oh, I'm going to go in with the brushes that I just got, which I feel like I'm not going to like. But we'll try it out. Okay, so I'm going in with the large eye blending brush. And this is the Luxie 250. So, I usually start with the bigger brush when I'm going in with my first shade. Okay, and I'm going to take the shade Temp. Should I do a blue, sh do blue color or should I do... Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the shade Temptress. So it's this brown shade right here. I feel like I'm not gonna like this brush. It's kind of odd shaped. I don't know. This is supposed to be a blending brush. I don't know. See, I usually let me show you what I usually go. Like, see, I can't talk about my brushes and everything when I'm doing over voiceover because it's like so fast. I don't have time. So this is something I usually go in with, which is the Morphe M441. And then I'm going in with this. Like, do you see how different? I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but we'll try it. Okay. Oh, very pigmented. See, it's so big. I don't know if I'm going to like this, but it's very soft. Very soft. I really like like the texture of it, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. I need to wipe some off. 
Now, like, I really like this brush. I just think maybe not for this part of the eye look. I don't know. It's too big for my eyes. And my eyes are already very hooded and all of that. So, I don't know. Look at that. Like, that's so pigmented. I literally dipped in there once and I'm still blending out. So, then I'm going to take a different brush. I guess. No, I can't use that brush. I'm going to go in with something that just has nothing on it. So the brush I normally use. And I'm just going to like start making it blend more at the top. Oh my god. It's so pigmented. Like so pigmented. It's crazy. So yeah, that looks much better. And this is also why I usually do my foundation last because like if I hate it or like I want to, you know, like do like I mess up or whatever, I can like wipe away with a with a um, makeup wipe and it's good. But like when I'm doing something like this already, it's very hard to like get a makeup wipe and um, do that. So. See, I'm blending this out lighter and then I'm going to keep that dark in there so like it looks blended out. Um, that way I don't even need a dip again, really. I could just keep it like that. I might dip a little tiny bit more though, but with a small brush, like, I'm kind of scared to honestly do it because of how pigmented these are. I literally took just a tiny, tiny bit. And then I'm just going to take a flat brush. This one, I should honestly clean all my brushes before, but I never do. Okay, and then I'm gonna go and let's be different and do this green shade right here called Star. I'm not gonna cut it, even though I don't know if it's gonna show up as good because it's so dark. I'm just gonna do it. Let's see if I can cut the other eye if I don't like it. So I just want to let you guys know that I actually just am so happy that I started this channel and like doing videos on Instagram and stuff because it's honestly been a confidence booster and also something that's just like kept me really happy like some a hobby that like it's mine like I don't have to listen to what anyone else says I can do what I want on this channel like of course, I want your guys' feedback or like comments or likes or whatever, but honestly, it's just like a fun hobby. Like I literally just post. I don't need to look at the subscribers. I don't need to look at the comments. Like, well, I do to get your opinion, but I'm saying like the views and all that. Like, I don't care about that. It's just, I was doing it on Instagram and a lot of people were saying to do YouTube videos so like I can explain more in detail like what I'm doing. And I was like going back and forth because I'm like with Instagram, it's so easy. You just you don't, I don't talk in them. I just do a video and it's so fun and so easy and it's not work where this is a little bit more work, but it's like so fun to do. Like it's, it's something I literally enjoy doing like every single day. So when I get in front of the camera, when I'm doing my makeup, I just, I love it. It's a confidence booster. I love, you know, seeing your comments on Instagram when I post like a little clip of the video, like, you know, that you guys like it or like messaging me ideas. Like I've gotten so many messages of ideas and I want to thank you guys because that means so much to me. It means like you guys actually want to see more. So um thank you guys. Honestly, like it's been so much fun doing and it's just been a fun hobby. Honestly, like I don't want to make it any more than that. Really? It's just when I have time to film, I'm going to film. And because of the quarantine, I have nothing else to do. It's been so much fun and fun hobby, like so freaking fun to do. Um So yeah, that's why I started the channel and um I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I thought about doing like a separate Instagram like makeup, but I'm like, why am I going to like do that when I already have an Instagram? I already have a following where, um, not like a crazy following or anything, but like where I have people that enjoy following me. So if they're enjoying me and like, then I'm assuming that they want to join me on my like hobby or whatever. So and something that I like doing. So I was like, no, I'm not going to do a separate makeup channel or Instagram, but I will do a YouTube video or YouTube channel. So yeah, that's basically it. Enough with my rambling, but yeah, I just wanted to say, and thank you to everyone that's here watching my videos. I appreciate it. It's so much fun. Um, 
but yeah so anyway so this is it like literally all i'm doing and i will like put some translucent powder to like line it up but i'm gonna do the other one off camera and it will be right back okay so then i'm gonna do my under eye where's the brush that i had i'm just gonna take this morphe m433 and actually actually we'll just try this brush even though it's super tiny i'm still gonna use it it's a precision crease brush a luxie 246 which i would never use this for my crease um i don't know maybe professionals would but not me but um i'm just gonna stamp that And I like to stamp and then lightly brush out. Next video, I think I'm going to do another chit chat and do like questions about me, even though I feel like I've already answered <laughs> anything, everything. I don't know at this point right now filming this video. But yeah, so I really like this palette. I'm for sure going to be like a go-to one because it's so easy. You literally, I use this matte and this green and I think it looks perfectly fine. Um, I like the shimmers. I like the quality. I don't know how much this is, but definitely worth it. My boxy charm, like, and I have the base box. So yeah. Anyways, actually, now that I think about it, I really wanted to try this. So it's not going to go with the look. So I should have done like this color. Ugh, now I'm so mad, but I'm still going to put this color on just to see how I never tried an Ofra uh, lipstick. So I'm excited. And I love matte. I love matte because I can overline my lips with matte with liquid. It's a little bit harder to overline because you can kind of tell. So matte is like my go-to, especially nude. Cause it's like, you can even less tell that I overline my lips. Like my lips are so small, but if you've seen my pictures on Instagram, my lips look big and that's because I overline my lips. Another insecurity is my lips. I had my lips done like months ago and it's gone now. Um, but I want to do it again. It's just expensive anyways okay so next i'm going to what am i going to do i'm going to do mascara and i'm going to go in with the super fan smashbox um mascara this is like another go-to but like i've talked about several times um my eyelashes don't do anything with any mascara so it doesn't really matter which one i use um, but I like this one specifically though because it does like separate my eyelashes really good. So if you have long eyelashes and don't really wear false, this is a good option. Like I recommend it. It does separate and everything. And I think it does make my eyelashes look a little bit longer, but I'm going to do my under eye because I like my top eyelashes to set for a minute before I um put on fake because then it gets all on my fingers and stuff when I'm trying to put my false lashes on it's basically i have no top and no bottom eyelashes none <sighs> sad 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 okay next i'm gonna go in with candy from lunar angel lashes perfect then i'm going to put some eyelash i mean eyebrow gel first one I find again I don't know if people are picky about eyebrow gel like there's certain things in makeup I just feel like how can you be picky about it like eyelash glue eyelash glue like is it all gonna work the same I guess if it doesn't make your eyelash stick that means it's bad I don't know and then my last step it's gonna be highlight although I really have been liking like the no highlight like matte look almost done i'm just going to i'm gonna wait for highlight at the end and decide if i'm gonna highlight or not this color doesn't really match honestly so i don't know if i'm gonna like it but we're just gonna try it and see how it goes eh. and now i can really explain to you guys like i talked about in my last video uh kylie cosmetics lip liners 
And because I overline my lips, I need to find good lip liners. Like this one is just so liquidy. It's not a matte lip liner. It's like, you can see how it's like glossy. So it's gonna smear everywhere. And I don't want that in a lip liner. Even if I'm not doing matte, like a matte, I'm gonna put lip gloss, like I don't want that because the end of the day when my lip gloss comes off from eating and stuff, that matte liner is still gonna be there and make my lips look big. And this isn't going to be there. It's gonna be smeared. It's gonna be making me look crazy. It's all I have, so we're just gonna go with it. I know this doesn't match my eyes whatsoever, but we're just gonna go and try with it. So this is Ofra in the shade Santorini, and it's the long lasting liquid lipstick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like it. It goes. That's better. It goes better than I thought. Okay. I like this color. It's very summer, but now I wish I would have done something different with my eyes. <sighs> my lips look small and it's driving me insane. I don't mind my lips looking small like without makeup, but with makeup, I'm just like, ew, I don't like it. So I'm gonna like kind of line it up again. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy today's chit chat, little video, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really enjoyed sitting down and actually being able to like talk through like all my steps and all the products that I use. Um, I honestly recommend everything so far from the Boxy Charm. I recommend these brushes. I thought I wasn't gonna like them. That's definitely gonna be a go-to brush for me, both of them for under the eye and then the one I use for blending. Um, I love them both, like the quality is so good. Um, and then the only thing I didn't try obviously was the mask, which I will try. Um, these worked fine for taking off all the makeup that was off the back of my hand. This is so good. Um, I really like the color, especially for summer. I just it did not go with this eye look, and I didn't think of that before, but um, I really like it. Um, oh my god, this palette, even though it's like I don't go for a palette that has mostly shimmer in it, but this one, like, I feel like you can do so many looks with it. You could just do an all shimmer. You could literally take this color like I did and put it with any shimmer. You could take this one and do it with any shimmer. So I really like that. Um I will link or list everything down below. I always go between link and list, but it's list. I'm going to list everything down below. Um, and then if you guys like this video, this chit chat, get ready with me, um, boxy charm review, um, then let me know down below because I will be getting, that was April. So I signed up for April. So I'm going to get May pretty soon. And I probably will do this again just because I love trying out new makeup. Um, I'll have to figure out how much everything was like online and see because I paid $25 for BoxyCharm. So I think these products were more than $25. I know Ofra is very expensive. I don't even own an Ofra product until now. So, um, but yeah, let me know down below what you guys want to see in my next video. Let me know if you guys like this like setup. Oh, and I'm going to show you guys once I clean my desk, what Chris got me for Mother's Day. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, and then really quick, I just want to show you guys my setup. So this is what I got for Mother's Day from Chris. Oh my god, I'm so freaking grateful for him. Um, so I got the desk and then the mirror, um, and then everything else I've obviously already have had. Um... So I really like this. Um, it has drawers, so like all my makeup as of right now pretty much fits in there. Um, and then I have extra drawers in the bathroom once I start getting too much. Um, and then I have, these are all my brushes, I think. I might have a few in the drawers. Um, and then again, I still have more space down here if I wanna do like, you know, little tubs of stuff. So I really like that. And then this is just basically my setup for when I do my makeup now. Basically the same thing um, before I just had the back mirror that was in my bathroom and then I just had the countertop and then that's how I did my makeup with this um, for lighting and then yeah so I like this setup a little bit better because I do have these windows when I film during the day so it just brings even even more light into this room um, and then yeah he's like I need to get you a chair next so I have this chair for now and this little cushion because I'm sitting here for so long so he's like I'm gonna get you a chair next I'm like oh my gosh stop but yeah, that's my setup. And then I'll show you the lights really quick. So it's touch screen. There are the lights. And then you can change them to like that more orange. And then this is like more daylight, which I don't know what this one does, but that, oh, more orange. And then that's like what I usually use that like natural lighting look. Um, 
but yeah and then what i like about this i keep this used to be like all my makeup in here that's and then i just got too much and i had other drawers in the bathroom but um in here is what i use for every video so i clean it out after i'm done editing and have everything listed but until then i will like so whatever i use in today's video is in here so i can just like especially it helps with voiceovers because i would just literally read off everything while i was doing the voiceover um but now i kind of explained everything but i don't know you guys might want still everything listed down below um so yeah that's my setup i'm freaking so happy with it. it honestly made filming this video so much easier um but yeah so thanks to chris for getting me this for mother's day so if you guys want to see like other videos where i talk about my brushes that i use or like um all my makeup my makeup collection i can do that just let me know down below i'm sorry if these are annoying you my little bracelets but yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye